So it shows you all this stuff with furnishings and all this nice stuff here, but you don't get an option for furnished. In addition to that, look, look back here. Like here's the gate, but there's like nothing to this right now. I can't even summon my mount. But you have you have a good large area to work with. You have some of these uh, pylons or uh, template areas that you can work with. Put stuff in. Nooks and crannies, all this other good stuff. This is the outer bomb wall here. That cliff there. I think this is an interesting house. It's good if you want to like just do like mega builds and craft your own type of like structure. At the same time though, I kind of wonder if it wouldn't be better just to get the... Uh, Hercene's Glade, I think it is. The one that lets you permanently go into Werewolf. And run around. It's like Hurstein's hunting grounds. Because at least that has some novelty to it, you know? This one's okay. Just not sure how much you'd want to be paying for gold on this. Or crowns. If this was crowns, I'd be like, eh, definitely pass on it. If it's gold and it's just like a million gold like the other place, yeah, I think it's at least a step up from the Cold Harbor one. It is huge, it is. It's mansion size. But like... Of course, map isn't working here. Cold Harbor is surreal estate here, right? This one here, you have to have the achievement and it's available after uh, the Jubilee starts. So basically you go to Cold Harbor and you can buy this as like a temporary house here, but it's a huge estate just like this. And it's just in Cold Harbor. This is almost the exact same thing. Except it's an elsewhere. So not to say I'm not impressed, it's just... There's just not much to it right now. Now this one I took a look at already, this is pretty cool. If you ever played Vault of Madness on the dungeon, this is like a house for that, which is I think everyone's been asking for for a while now. They want a house that like looks like a Daedric tomb. Lastly, I prefer I would like to see one that's like a crypt, not like Crypt of Hearts or something like that, but more like a uh, traditional crypt. So this one comes previewed with furniture. People hanging off. Gibbets. There's some coffins in here. I think a couple of vampire people will probably buy this.
See how this is going here? Then guess what? We have a balcony. <coughs> Actually sit down and just like kind of overlook everything. Now I have noticed like there is like weird like you see this? There's like a weird invisible walls there that you can just jump over. So that probably should be fixed. Again, there's like some weird stuff right there. Dining hall there. Oh, pews and like more coffins up here. If you notice, this, this reminds me a lot of the Crypto Hearts last boss uh, area. Then you can also take a look up. It's almost, this is like, is this Soul Karn? With the Pillar of Skull, Stained Glass, and Glossy Portals, the boat has accommodate uh, the most tormented still. Take advantage of the open layout and the set. Uh, set up your large-scale rituals and use this vaults for lofty balconies for vile experiments But yeah, this feels like soul card right here You get aetherplasm you can swim around in And it looks like there's some areas you can probably uh, build out to. I've already scram out to the other side of this here, but side, yeah, I can't do anything. That looks like a big door. Would be nice to use. Little alcoves in here. Overall, I think this is probably the more interesting house. And if I was to price out this house, mm, probably five to eight K. I'm going to guess because there's a notable house. It's huge. It has a lot of stuff into it. I want to be surprised as five to eight, uh, five, five uh, thousand to eight thousand. Hmm. One thing that kind of does trigger me though is the fact that like it's kind of asymmetrical like you had that stairwell going down yet you had this stain right here. That goes over to this half one here, right? So you have one, two, three. One, two. Three. Okay, okay it's a, I guess it is the same on either side. Just take a look. I'm just making sure it's, it's mirroring because if it's not mirroring, then it's, it doesn't mirror. Do you see that, guys? You clearly have like a space here to here between the trim. You go to the other side. 
is sitting right on top of the trim. Absolutely ruined. This patch is shit. Just roll it back. Never gonna work. Look at that. Look at that. It's horrible. How can we live with this? How is this building standing if it's not perfectly symmetrical, guys? It's like Shio Garroth designed this himself just to make everything just slightly off so it doesn't match up. Just to watch us like go insane because of it. And it's working. I was kind of wish I could turn on the lights on and off in this mode so I can see how it looks with the lights on or off. I guess there's an easy either to see fix to that. Guess not to everything though. You get the hook. You get to keep some of the torches here. I guess we're permanently here. I want to see if that chandelier is still in that other room. I doubt it. That's a purchased item. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Missing here. Not missing here. <laughs> Interesting. 